Hey, what's up everybody? How you doing? Welcome back to Carpo Gaming and another Skyward Sword HD video. That's right. Today we have another Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword guide. The Sky View Temple. Today we're going to show you where everything is at. The dungeon maps, the keys, yes even the beetle and a whole lot more so if at any given time you found this video helpful or just a little bit entertaining please by all means follow like and subscribe on all social media platforms but especially on youtube it really do help these videos get out there in the youtube algorithm and i'm able to give back more and do more giveaways right now i have a giveaway going for legend of zelda skyward sword hd links down below in the description now let's get started thanks for watching in order to get into the temple you're gonna have to pull out that slingshot and hit that switch. Welcome to Skyview Temple. This is the very first temple dungeon in Skyward Sword HD. Now throughout this dungeon we are going to acquire plenty of things. Now I did splice it up a bit but I'll walk you through it. You shouldn't have any problem following this guy. Now this is re-release on the Nintendo Switch all spanking brand new. So let's get with it. The very first part of the dungeon is pretty straightforward. Lots of bats and lots of webs. Swing through them, you'll end up getting to this guy right here. Whip out your slingshots, you can daze them, and then take them out. If you have some issues with your Joy-Con, just recalibrate it. I have to do it quite often with this game, but you'll get with it and it shouldn't be a big issue. Strike that and you are in through the next door, ladies and gentlemen, where we're gonna have to use these eyes to our advantage. Swing in a circle, left motion, right motion, you're gonna be working out your arm. Make him confused, he'll fall to the ground and uh, we're gonna open up the door. There's quite a few of those, so get used to that little technique in this temple. Once we are done, we have a couple of these bombs, which will be quite a few of them in this temple so get used to those too use your joy kind take out that guy right here and take out the model that is sitting in the middle of this room like so bam you know what while in rome why not get those rupees so i'm gonna go ahead and grab these rupees and then we're gonna go back to completing this dungeon. Now there's four different ways that you can go from this point. You can go forward where there's a locked door. To the left is also locked and to the right, it's locked too, but there's a switch. And we can always go behind us where there is a save. So to the right we go. Now just pull out that, Wapa. Hit that switch, open up the door, and we are in through this part, sweet. Now that we are over here, cut out those cobwebs like so, and we are going to make it to, oh, what's that? It's a spider. Now in order, no, that's not how you want to do it. In order to take out these guys, just swipe to the left, they're going to spin around and then just jab at them. That's how you're going to take out the spiders. Now here's a stone with a lot of good information. Two doors leads to two rooms, one above and one below. So we're going to drop down into here and there is a switch. There's going to be two switches that's going to elevate the water in this room. So bam, there's the first switch. Hit that, the water level rise a little bit. You're going to use these vines and climb back out and right back in the room. We need to get the other water level up a little bit higher so we can get across over there. So we're going to go back through where we just came back open up that door into the room where we have the four different ways to go. To the right, we open up the room. We're gonna fall down like so and swim a little bit. And bam, here's the other switch. You hit it, doors open up and the water level is going to rise after we do a little bit more journey into this room. So into this room we go like so. I'm gonna take out this guy right here. Once he's down, we're gonna have some, make sure he's down. <laughs> we're gonna have these vines that we're gonna use to get across because you can't take those guys out over there because they're facing the opposite way. So shoot the vines and jump across like so, swing and jump. You're gonna be doing a lot of swinging and a lot of jumping and you saw right there to the right, there is a switch too. But of course we need to, you know, get over to the other side of the room. So jump and swing, jump and swing take out this guy like so remember always recalibrate your controller if you have some issues i had 
uh, quite a few issues, but once I recalibrated it, it was, it was really good. So, you know, there you go. So anyway, take out that guy like so, and now we can take out these spiders. But hey, there's a tablet right here. A room with two glittering gemstones, gaze upon a map and you key. Okay, all right, we got that down. All right, there's a door right there. We go ahead and take out these cobwebs and take out this guy right here. Clear out those cobwebs because yeah, why not? And remember, there is a switch right there. So bam, what we're gonna do, use that. Bam, there it is, ladies and gentlemen. You just raise the water level and voila you have pretty much almost one fourth of the way is done with this dungeon open up that door back into the room grab this chest and here we go. gotta love that music we are just acquired the dungeon map ladies and gentlemen is going to give us a layout of the whole area and here we are to the left and to the right two different places where we need to go fee pops up and give us a little rundown of what is in store with the rest of this dungeon. All right, here we are, ladies and gentlemen. That's us. There's a save point. We need to head forward, which there is a lock, and there's another chest right there. Okay, let's get it. So from here, we are going to just go ahead and jump down like so. And you see there's uh, some spiders over here on the door. There's a save spot right here. Let's go ahead and let's save so uh, it can be like a stopping point so you can know exactly where we at. Alright, from here we're going to turn around and we're going to jump across this log after we take out this spider. And jump across like so. Jump down and we're going to go in through this door. Since the water level is risen, now we can come over back on this side. Once again, swipe the spider. Make sure he's spin around. Swipe to the left. There you go. And just jab him like so and he's down. Turn around and we have some eyes, but these are gonna be a little bit different. Fia give you a rundown of them. You can't just do one of them. You're gonna to have to do them both at the same time. So make sure you recalibrate your controller and swing in a circle motion and like so. Here we are, ladies and gentlemen, we got another chest. This chest is gonna give us a key, a small key, but we need this key. It's very important so we can open up the very next door. So away we go. I'm gonna go back right where we came from, open up that door, like so. And we're gonna jump down on the log, swim through the water, hop on the vine, and hey, there's a key. And we're gonna put it in this door. Unlock that bad boy. Open it up, and bam, we came to basically the main room of the dungeon of the temple. And the first thing is first, we're gonna take out these enemies right there if they're bothering you. But use your slingshot, hit that switch, and we're gonna go inside where there's a little little mini boss, so to speak. And this is such a preview of what came with the probably the most best Zelda game ever, which is Breath of the Wild. Let's just let's, let's take another save right here. So we got this other little mini boss right here, which there is quite a few in Breath of the Wild. Like I said, this this one reminds me of Breath of the Wild, which is pretty cool. But uh, yeah. All right, inside there is this skeleton. We're gonna take him out using your controls. Swing up, swing down, swing left, swing to the side. Take him out like so. He's gonna block, but you have a, a lot of openings to take out this guy, so it shouldn't be an issue. He, he's really easy to take out. So anyway, take out this guy like so. And uh, yeah, congratulations. You got your very next very important item that you're gonna be using throughout your journey, but especially in this dungeon, you just acquired the beetle, which is pretty cool. You can point, you can use your joy kind to control it, and it's way better than using a Wemo and Nunchuck, so that's definitely an improvement with uh, this game on, on the Switch for sure. All right, what you're gonna do is use that beetle, hit that switch, it's gonna open up that door, and voila, now you are finally out that room. Once we're out that room, right there, there is a save again. Let's go ahead and just get these rupees. Why not win in Rome? Get the rupees, you know? Anyway, break out that beetle once again. There is a switch right above here. There it is, bam. Once we hit the switch, that opens up. Now we can go in through this door. Open up the door like so, and jump down. Splash. All right, ladies and gentlemen, from here, 
we're gonna go straight forward into the very next room. But turn around, look at that. There is another switch. Take out your beetle and voila, let it fly. Have some fun with it. It's a lot of fun using this beetle and using the Joy-Con. So bam, the water level rises like so. Turn around and uh, open up the door, ladies and gentlemen. Through here, we're going to have three eyes this time. Yeah, the eyes. Take out this spider, flip him upside down, and jump on him to take him out. The door will open up. And now we just need to climb these vines and uh, take out your beetle once again. Hit it. Let that bad boy drop down and use the box to move it into a position right where you're going to stand in between all of the three different eyes that we're going to use the same motion that we've been using throughout this dungeon. Tochu is going to be using it quite a few times and by now your arm has pretty sure has gotten a good workout. <laughs> so move it into position, whip out your sword like so. They all spin, they fall down, the door opens up and we have ourselves another chest. Congratulations ladies and gentlemen. You have yourself a key, but we need this key in order to continue in this dungeon. So yeah, congratulations. Open up that door once again, and we're back where the water level has already risen. If you haven't did that, just go ahead and just, you know, hit that switch with your beetle. And like so, we're going to make our way over here and we're going to climb down and climb through this little crevice and jump back down and open up the door back into the main room of the mission which is the dungeon which is the temple all right this is the room ladies and gentlemen that we need to use that key it's right here to the left of us when we walk outside but we want to use our beetle to take out those vines if you don't they'll just knock you down and you won't be able to get through so use your beetle take them out and open up the door with the key that we have just acquired from here we have another little mini boss Take him out like so, and voila, he is down. Grab that heart, pick up that door, and we head into the very next part of the temple. Take out that guy like so, easy peasy. The whole dungeon, tell you the truth, is really easy. It's just when you get to the final boss at the end, he can be a little tedious when it comes to you swinging and him just blocking. So yeah, it could be a little pain. All right, there is a moblin over there on the other side. You know, to get his attention, I'll launch a beetle at him. And then he jumped on <laughs> the rope. Just shoot it at him again, and bam, he'll fall down. And now you can make your way across the way. There is a switch right there. Let's go ahead and switch that. Why not? Why not? Now that we have opened up that door, all right, you can go ahead and save if you want to save, but uh, turn around. We have a little bit more to do. There's a chest to the left of us that we need to get. Now, what you need to do is whip out your slingshot and you're gonna be shooting these vines. You can see you can't shoot that one from here. So make your way all the way across like so. And then we are going to use our slingshot to shoot the vines, all right? Now, if you come back over here, there is a little chest. Open that up and there's another ruby, sweet. All right, to the left, there is another save. You can save if you want. But I uh, jump up on these vines. We're gonna drop down. And from here, we're gonna use our sword. We're gonna hit this. We're gonna whip out a nice little rope. We're gonna swing on this rope. We can also turn as well. So just take your time. Turn, swing, jump to this area over here. Make your way over here and use your slingshot to shoot down the vine. Now, if you try to shoot the other one from here, you cannot do it. So we're going to jump back down and we're going to come from the same door once again and use our slingshot to shoot the other one. So, yeah, I kind of did that out of order, but, you know, it is what it is. All right, from here, we're going to make our way across the rope and then we're going to make our way to the right once again. So, yeah, I'm happy that you're watching this video. This is my first Zelda series that I have on this channel. I'm a huge Zelda fan. So I hope you enjoy this walkthrough. Try to make it as easy as possible for anybody at any age. So yeah, I understand. If you get a little lost in this dungeon, it is Zelda and it's a lot of fun. All right, from here, we're gonna jump down onto the vine. 
we're gonna actually stop we're gonna slide all the way down all the way almost to the end and then we're gonna angle ourselves where the vines match up and then we're gonna swing across like so give it a couple swings and there you go do the same thing right here swing down just a little bit about halfway swing and jump and bam we have our chest congratulations once again you have just acquired the golden carving strangely shaped just like the door that we need to use it in now this can be a little tricky putting it in what i did is i just use my controller and i just grab and release just just like you just moving it just little by little just nudge it nudge it into shape until it looks like so and then insert it and release and voila it enters into the door and now it's time for the boss fight now the boss fight can be very tedious like i said you can easily be swinging your sword and just be like bro he's blocking everything so just take your time first things first this guy is going to come at you so you really don't have to run after him let him come to you once he comes to you then attack that's pretty much the strategy for this dude that's it. You've done enough damage to this guy, he's gonna pull out his sword, and then he's gonna switch up the strategy a little bit. He's gonna shoot out these little arrows, kinda of they look like little red arrows, just jump to the side, to the left or to the right, and you should be good to go. If you are running low on hearts, there are some containers around the room, and uh, yeah, it is pretty easy once you know exactly what to do. Just be patient, let him come to you, and attack him when he do. And uh, before you know it, you'll be done with this little boss fight. He'll be back, he'll be back, but congratulations, you have just completed the dungeon and hopefully you enjoyed this walkthrough. As always, if you are new to the channel, welcome. Don't forget to subscribe. Right here at Carpool Game, I upload a wide variety of videos. So once again, thank you for watching and for everybody who has been supporting the channel. Without you, this channel does nothing but if it goes to the moon. So thank you once again, and as always, I'll be seeing y'all in the next one. Later.